All right, from Smithfield, we now head southeast down to the capital city. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Tadeva Kaprikian is joining us now with more on the conditions in Providence. Yeah, good afternoon, Patrick. Steady snowfall here in Providence as well, and the wind is making it a little tough to see out here. I want to take you right over to the highway. We're overlooking 95 in downtown Providence a couple hours ago, and really throughout the morning, you were able to see the pavement and clearly see the lanes. You can see that that's not the case anymore. The snow has coated the highway, making for tough driving conditions out here if you're headed anywhere this morning. We also took a look around the city of Providence. Take a look at what we found. In a row, the city of Providence is covered in snow. Plows have been working around the clock to clear up highways and city streets. Around the city, the Monday commute for those who had to drive made their way slowly through slick, snow-covered streets, a sight that's been all too common over the past couple of weeks. We found several side streets still not plowed and frustrated residents who have had enough of this weather and lack of cleanup. A lot of people are falling, cars sliding everywhere. I mean, they need to do, the, the government, the city needs to do a lot more with the plows. The back-to-back -back storms have also left sidewalks around the city and in front of businesses not shoveled, making it tough for people having to get around on this messy Monday. Back out live overlooking 95. Now, there are a lot of frustrated residents here in the city, but we have seen a lot of snow plows working around the clock to try and stay ahead of these storms and back to back snowstorms we've seen here. Tough work for those snow plow crews out there as well. Again, if you're headed anywhere today, those conditions are very slick and do take it slow, especially on those off ramps and side streets. Those have not been treated as well as those main highways have. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Tadavika Prikyan, Eyewitness News.